What? What? Oh, I'm not feeling so good. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, I thought I would come back here to the Temple of Mara and do some more volunteer work. I'm feeling very charitable these days. Now that I'm free of Skooma and I've sold it all off, it's time to embark on a new chapter of my life. Mara, give me power. Power to vanquish my enemies. Power to ascend in this world. It fills I'm me tired with joy to hear you with child, didn't you? As a beggar. You said it wouldn't, that it couldn't happen. But Mara I'm grateful their mistake. that I now have a roof over my head. But now, what I need more than ever is power. You were guided here. You were always meant to be here. Thank you. That's the way of things. Can I thank Lady Mara with all my heart? Jade, it's been a while. How can I help you? Um, I want you to follow me. I'm here to do some volunteer work. And I could use your help with this. I've been guided by Mara. There's something that only you can do. But of course I'll help. All right, let's go. What about Paragorn and Valandor? What? You don't think they like each other? Or do you think they don't like other males? Are you still going on about those two? Come on, we have work to do. Divine work of Mara. Push through. Let's, uh. Mara has guided me to. Shores Stone. Every one of them. Let's go and see what, he, what she or it has in store for us. All right. Shores Stone. Look at this. This man is still here. Are you feeling sick? I am, actually. Whenever I'm in the city, I'm always afraid I'll run into someone I know. But and thank you know for your concern. Here. Yeah. All right, come on this way, Jane. We need to find someone. Wait, who is that? Who's in pain? Come on. What now? Where is it? There it is. Okay. Oh. You must be the person that Mara is guiding me to. Good day. Blessings of Mara upon you. I love the rift. You don't get any of that ice water you get up north. Sure, it rains from time to time, but most days it's just an endless parade of petals rocking gently to sleep. 
Like a living lullaby. You sound like an artist or a poet. Guilty on both counts. Although my wife is the true artist, the way the sight of her makes my knees buckle. Did you come here just to enjoy the fall forest? Yes, although my love worries it might be dangerous. Spriggans, wolves, and bears live in these forests. Well, we can outrun the Spriggans, avoid the bears, and appease the wolves. I figure I can just throw some meat on the ground and they'll fight each other for it. Of mm. course, she says weeds don't make for a more appetizing meal. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I came along and dispatched that bear. He certainly would have killed you if you didn't run away. So, where is your wife now? She scampered off the shore stone to ask for directions. I assured her we need only follow the road, but she wants to be sure. She wanted to take a wagon, but I insisted we walk. I told her we're here to see the fall forest, so it would make no sense not to. I haven't told her the real reason we're here is to adopt a child. That part is a surprise. Really? Um... Seriously, um, what is it, Cajoli? I'm Zion, by the way. I'm, I'm an acting acolyte of Mara. And this is Jade. She's a priestess of Mara. So, I say all that to say that you surprised your love with new earrings. Not a child. That's something that you talk about first. I appreciate your concern, but it's not as if we haven't talked about it. She oh. knows how I feel about children, uh -huh. and we can't have them on our own. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, um, most Nords are acclimated to the cold. I'm not sure why I'm saying that, but I'll say it. Yes, it's strange how much it affects me. They say that's why I can write such visceral poetry. Most Nords know the cold so well they can see it as plain as the stars, but they can't transfer that feeling into words. I suspect it's because to them that feeling is no different than warmth, so it gets lost in translation. For me, I know the cold like it's my sister. Only we're the type of siblings that never get along. Lately, it's only gotten worse. What do you mean? What's changed? I wish I knew. Every night I go to bed, a chill starts to warm its way beneath my skin. If I do manage to sleep, I dream it's so cold, my teeth are frozen solid. And eventually, they just crumble in my mouth. Oh, that's a horrible dream. That's more of a nightmare. Um, well... Oh, my goodness. Well, there's no substitute for good body heat. Keep your wife close. I do. You see, she's a Khajiit, and having her oh, fur really? pressed against my skin is a great help. However, even with my love nestled beside me, this cold is like a frozen dagger. It claws at my very soul. No, oh, I see. All right, well, you enjoy the fall foliage again. Blessings of Mara upon you, and uh, that's all the questions I have. Farewell. Farewell to you, good traveler. May all your roads lead to warm sounds. Thank you. There you are. Oh, I've been looking look. all over for you, my love. The way you wander about, sometimes I wonder if I need to buy you a leash. Jade? My dear, I apologize. I wander because I know our love ties us together. There is no need for earthly bonds. <sighs> Why did I have to fall for a poet? There was that nice blacksmith in Riverwood. He would have made for a good husband. Yes, except You're for talking the fact about that Alvor. he was happily married. Well, nobody's perfect. Huh. Anyone who says that has never laid eyes upon you. My love, one of these days your flattery won't work on me. But today is not that day. <laughs> then let us hurry to Riften, my dear, before the next one arrives. Well, all right. 
Good luck, and be careful. I don't know, do we need to escort them, Jay? You can tell how much they love each other, right? Okay. Come on. Oh, he's running. I hope he's not thinking about going through the, the um, fort there. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There are bandits in that fort. And dogs. Iron flesh. Come on. Sir, th there are bandits in here. It's dangerous for you to be here. Did you hear something? No! Like the bite of a Get him! Somebody! Oh, alright, hold on. You want a real fight, eh? Come on, you want the first. Victory is yours! I submit! really turn out the way I was hoping. Sir, let's go around the, um, the fort here. Either, either way is good. Left or right. Alright, we'll just meet you back at Riften. At least you're following me. How many bandits are there over there? Oh, oh no. Are they attacking the, the people? Fell from that far away. All the way up there, really. I need to learn what that spell is. Where is Jade? Jade, oh, there you are. I don't think these people are gonna take a Iron Flash. No for an answer. Come 
Come on. Where did they go? Yes, it's all clear now. I mean, can you can you believe this? You got a priest, an acolyte of Mara out here fighting these people. All right, I'm not going inside. I think it's clear. Hopefully, the couple made it through. Jade. I think that's enough excitement for one day. Uh oh. Who is this here? I don't like this. Who are you? What do you want? A vampire? Jade, where'd it go? of love, and more importantly, how love takes many forms. Who is that? Alright, you people need to get to, to Riften. You're in danger here. You're the one. I don't know what spells those are you're casting. All right. I think it's clear. All right, Jane. Let's try this again. It's, it's good, good to be with you again. Come on, let's walk. You don't have to walk that far behind. But I guess you heard that I've, I've got a house now in Riften. 
You'll have to come over for dinner sometime. Come on. It's not much right now. I don't really have uh, furniture, a bed, and maybe a chair or two. Lots of cobwebs. I have a house Carl, but she won't clean up those cobwebs, and we're going to have to have a serious talk about that soon. Should have stayed in bed today. All right, come on. I think I'm pushing myself a little too much. Like you were gonna hurt somebody, look out! Oh! Alright. Thank you, Jade. Let's go. We're almost there. Wait. Oh. Is that just a guard up there? I know the vampires like to talk to themselves too. I guess everybody does it, including me. Oh no, what's wrong now? A troll. Where'd it go? Did somebody kill it? No, it's still out of here. Somebody's killing it. Alright. Looks like it's dead. So, my magic has really increased, as you can tell, since the last time we hung out. Mara's blessings, I'm sure. reasons that I really wanted to see you and talk to you was that uh, Rinyov wants me to go down under the town in the rat way I guess you call it to um I guess become part of his organization and I think we both know what that organization is, so I know you're done with them, but I, I just wanted, you know, just to hear your, your opinion. I mean, is, is it all right? Will you still talk to me if I, if I join the Thieves Guild? Yeah, sure it is. I've got to get out of here. I really want to be more, more powerful, Jane. I'm tired of, you know, just barely making ends meet. I know I've come a long way, but there's so much more. I can feel it. All right, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. What do you mean I'm scaring you? Jay, you know me. Come on, let's go. And, um, have you, you heard what, uh, Shadra now owns the stables. Look at him. Look at him out here tending to the stables. His own stables. It's what you've always wanted. The lessons of Mara upon you, Shadra. Well, hey, that's not something you see every day. <laughs> I'd better get going. All right. I know her voice can get a bit irritating, but one of these days, we ought to buy armor from Grelka. Not that she has good wares, but I owe her. <coughs> what? <coughs> oh. oh, what? Oh. I'm not feeling so good. Come on, let's go.
snowback Imperials renounced humanity when they laid down before the Thalmor. You think they're here yet? Maybe we need to wait. What is it? Eight? Eight in the morning? Eight, I'm sorry. Eight in the evening? Um, why don't we take this up tomorrow? I'm, I'm really not feeling well. Yes? So, I'll see you in the morning? It had to end sometime. Uh, it always no, no. does. All right. I'll see you in the morning. <coughs> oh. 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 I don't know. Is this uh, like bone break fever maybe? you to clean these cobwebs. The, the, nothing has been done. Well, could you go to the Bee and Bob and get me something to eat, please? Thank you. I'll have the usual. Oh, let me lay it lay down. My goodness, I feel terrible. Oh. Oh. Elixir and get some some tonic. Okay, I own up. I've been asleep for for eight nine hours. I don't even remember, and not a single cobweb has been moved. I need you to do something about these cobwebs. I'm serious. You're starting to get on my nerves and look at you trying to ignore me. We'll see about that. All right, well, I guess the couple hopefully made it here to Riften last night. Let me go get Jade. Oh boy, my bones are sore, my chest is so kind of hard to breathe. Sorry. Divine smile on you, friend. Thank you. Um, Jane. Oh, can I help you? Um, we need to go and visit the couple and finish what we started yesterday. All right, let's go. All right. Every day and every day I find. Oh, oh excuse me, Mara. Do you think Spana and How about the make a good couple? Perhaps I heard you. So, um, Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. Jade, will you please come on? So, they're staying in the B and Bob, yourself, I believe. Which is strange. Don't you think? Well, no. Wait. I 
I think they're in Helga's bunkhouse, not the bean vault. That is strange. Well, I guess they're down on their luck too. Suppose I can understand that. Good morning. You want to adopt a child? Uh oh. My dear, I thought you'd be happy. You always said you wanted children. Someday, yes. When my whiskers start to fall, your hair turns gray, and the libraries are filled with your poetry. Then I will want nothing more than to share our love with another. But not now. Your whiskers will never fall, my love, and my hair has long started to gray. Your flattery won't work, Yoli. Not this time. You know as well as I that we are in no position to adopt. Seriously, Kyoli, a child? By Segunda, I thought we were here to see the forest. I thought we came to Riften to... Damn you, poet. Damn you. The one time you decide not to be romantic. My love, I... I don't know what happened. We've never fought before. I've always been honest with her about wanting children. Yeah, but you don't spring something like that on somebody. I mean, how long ago was it that you all actually talked about having children? Weeks? Months? Years? Hmm. Well... Give us some time to simmer down. It's a lot to take in. You're right. I thought she would be overwhelmed with joy. Maybe she told me how she really felt, and I couldn't see the forest for the trees. Friend, do you think you can talk to her for me? Maybe you can provide some comfort, whereas I will only arouse her anger. Sure, I'll talk to her. Thank you. She's still up there. I... I thought I heard weeping, but I fear she does not want to see me. Oh no, that... That painting, I hope that's not gonna cause problems. No, wow. Just look away. Where? Jade, you need to be here for this, come on. We're doing Mara's work. Inari. Dead. That idiot! A child! What was he thinking? What kind of couple adopts before marriage? Wait a minute. You two aren't married? He's called you his wife. Isn't that odd to adopt first? Now do you understand why I am so frustrated? It makes no sense. Well, considering what I know now, I can see why you felt misled. Ah, I can always tell when he has a secret. The corner of his mouth twists up into this impish little green. <laughs> when he said we were coming to Riften, I was certain he was going to propose. And then I could tell him that I was wrong about him. I was wrong about us. That all this was worth it in the end. Now I fear... I may vanish from this world, having never had that question answered. Wait, what do you mean, vanish from this world? Purely thinks we keep no secrets. But I have never told him the truth. I am already dead. What? what I mean, you look plenty alive to me. And I've seen plenty of ghosts. Appearances can deceive. Can How they? else can you explain why I never hunger and never sleep? But every night, hmm. I stay with him and hope that if I can keep him warm, there will come a time when he does not tremble. Never hunger and never sleep. Well, that is a compelling argument for not being alive. But 
Inari, I have powers. I can see things that other people can't. I'm I'm a master of illusion. And you by all means seem real to me. But I'm gonna humor you for just a moment. If what you say is true, how did it happen? We met at the temple. He came there to pray. I came there to die. I no longer wanted any part of this world. I knelt before the gods, asked for a safe passage, and plunged the dagger into my heart. That's when I heard the scream. It was Gioli running to my side. I remember tilting my head back as the life faded from my body. He wasn't the handsomest man, and his arms quivered as he held me. Yet there was something there. Sometimes a I spark. worry about Sodrin. Part of me knew that it elf fiddles with his dagger more times than a so blacksmith cruel. would consider healthy. Jay, another part Jay, of be me quiet. wanted just one more day, one more minute, to find out if it was. Do you recall what happened after? I awoke the next morning with my wound dressed. Gioli said I missed my heart by an inch. But deep down, I knew I had not. My love, is this true? Gioli, you are listening to our mind? <coughs> yes, I apologize. The floorboards here are thin. But no matter. Are you really dying? I'm not dying, love. I'm dead. And what difference does it make when I am dead to you? Is that what this is about? You don't understand, Inari. My parents never married. They said true love requires no title, trinkets, or ceremony to hold it together. It just is. Kayoli, you fool! Did you ever consider your father was just too cheap to buy an amulet of Mara? <laughs> you could be right, but they loved each other deeply. And that's what I wanted for us. My love, I am sorry. I never knew. It's just, I am on borrowed time, and I thought... I don't understand. I saved you that day. The apothecary said you made a full recovery, and you are as stunning today as the day we met. That day will not save me. Words are just words. My dear, you are mistaken. Words are eternal, and I will prove it to you when I speak them at the temple. Then you wish to marry? Of course, my love. I don't know what illness you think you have, but if your time is truly short, then I want to spend it as man and wife. Friend, I would like some uh, time alone with my beloved. Can you do us a favor and arrange the wedding? It would be a great help. Well, all right. Um, Jade? I think this is your opportunity. We'll head there immediately to the Temple of Mara. And congratulations. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to the both of us. I know you are probably busy, but I hope you find time to attend the ceremony. Oh, I wouldn't miss it. For the world. Jade? Yes? Hmm. All right. Mara, I... protect us. Let's get to the temple and then and prepare for our wedding. Come on. <coughs> well, I'm still able. <coughs> oh, after this, I'm going to the apothecary. I need you to marry this couple. Me? Are you sure? I did tell you I was cursed, right? I want to prove that this curse is nonsense. Their love is strong enough 
to overcome any curse. And are you not a priestess of Mara? Will you deny these two people their nuptials? I am, but it's because I want them to be happy that I'm suggesting you talk to Maramal. Jade, trust me, you can do this. You think so? I... I almost believe you. All right. Bring those two lovebirds over and I'll marry them. I mean, I won't be marrying them, as in me being their wife. I'll be marrying them from behind the altar. Oh, you know what I mean. If it is not too much trouble, we would like to have the wedding now. Now? As in right now? Okay. Yes, then right now. Everyone, now. to your places. Bride and groom at the altar. Everybody else, Congratulations. stay where you are. All right. Deep breaths. There's no such thing as curses. So, if everyone's ready, let's begin the ceremony. It was Mara who first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learn to love one another. It is from this love that we learn that a life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today under Mara's loving gaze to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal companionship. May they journey forth together in this life and the next, in prosperity and poverty, and in joy and in hardship. You, sir, do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? My Anari, my darling, my muse. Okay, what's going on? You're supposed to say I do. Our love began that day in the temple as a single candle. And as the seasons passed, it has only burned brighter. We will let this light guide us from cold snow to warm sands, for not even death can extinguish its flame. Forgive me, Kayoli. That day, when I plunged the dagger in my chest, I was certain it had struck my heart. But it was never a dagger, was it? It was always you. And on this, our wedding day, I have never been more in love. I have never felt more alive. By Mara. That was beautiful. But I'm not sure I can marry you until you say I do. My apologies, priest. I do. Now and forever. As do I. Now and forever. Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple to be wed. I present the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. May they protect each of you in your new life together. What about Paragorn and Valandor? <laughs> what? You, you don't just think don't they like quit, each other? do you? Or do you think they don't like other males? Jade. Congratulations, you did it. Well, they're married. Yes. For now. Maybe forever. And they have you to thank. So, it looks like you've made up your mind. You're gonna remain here as a priestess of Mara. But I, unfortunately, have a different path to travel. I just wanted to see you perhaps one last time before I say goodbye. 